Antonio Maceda Integrated School, Santa Mesa, Manila. Last time we talked about the history of badminton. We just believe to have originated from the game Luna that was played by English army officers stationed in India during the 17th century. And also, it was only in 1992, Barcelona Olympics with the game of game and Olympic sports with singles and doubles events. Hi buddies! I'm Sir Martin, and today we're going to talk about badminton rackets and shuttlecock. In the history, they first used battle ball, which is a flat paddle or a racket used to hit the shuttlecock back and forth. It is made up of food to their excessive weight and cost. This is a badminton racket, and it has different points. First, the head, the string area, the throat, and the handle. A badminton racket usually weighs between 70 and 95 grams. It is usually composed of carbon fiber composite which may be augmented by variety of materials. Heavier rackets are mostly preferred by players who have much stronger wrists and can therefore make up the weight of the racket to extract more power from it. Players who like to rally and make use of deception usually prefer a smaller grip so that the racket is easier to turn in their hands. We have two kinds of shuttlecock. A synthetic shuttlecock and a feather shuttlecock. A shuttlecock usually has an open conical shape formed by feathers and is embedded into a rounded cork or a rubber base. Shuttle bridge! Bridge are more popular synonyms of shuttlecock. shuttlecock. Badminton court dimensions Sideline for doubles Sidelines for singles Long service line for doubles Long service line for singles Short service line from the netline Center line that divides the right and left court Pole height with 1.55 meters Net height with 1.524 meters or 5 feet the overall dimensions of a badminton court is 20 feet by 44 feet. The lines along these measurements mark the side lines for doubles play and long service lines for singles play. The net line marks the middle of the court where the net is placed, creating a 22 feet by 20 feet area on each side of the line. Wear safe clothing. Footwear for running and indoor sports is crucial. It should be comfortable, offering good grip and adequate shock absorption that will help to prevent ankle and knee sprains or strains. That's all we have for today. Special thanks to Mr. Rajas Agola for the 3D badminton courts. On our next episode, let's talk about the stances, the grip, and footwork in playing badminton. Thank you, buddies! See ya!